everybody. It's Davey from the 80s, and you are now entering the Cinema Chop Shop. So park your ass right there. Today, we have something special. As you can see, I have Sarah and I have Nancy to the right and left of me. So you already know what we're going to do today. We are looking at the Craft trailer, uh, the Craft Legacy, I believe. So before we get into that, make sure you hit that like, that share, that subscribe button, tell all your friends about it, and let's go ahead and build this community. So without further ado, before I get into the trailer, actually, um, when I first heard about this movie and I heard about Blumhouse doing it, I was thinking, I thought it was a reboot. I really, true to heart, thought it was a reboot. But it turns out that this is actually a sequel to the original Kraft movie from the 90s. So that's kind of good and bad, depending on what I feel like after I see this trailer. Now, um, also, Blumhouse being behind it. Since Blumhouse is behind it, that's either going to bring some good or some bad. Blumhouse is hit or miss with their productions. They're low budget, and they, make, they try to get a lot of money off of that low budget. So I hope that this is one of those projects where they're actually taking it serious because, I mean, you have things like Treasure uh, Fantasy Island, which I heard wasn't that good, and you also have Black Christmas, which I also heard wasn't good. So let's go ahead and get into this trailer real quick. Hold on. Hit you with this real quick. I'll make sure I check that thing off right there. Y'all ain't going to be able to hear anything. All right. Uh, make my picture grow. White as a feather, stiff as a... Board. Light as a feather, stiff as a board. That looks like the original house from the first film. I know it feels fast, but it's nice, isn't it? To have a family unit. Come on in to meet the boys. They're really excited to meet you. How are you feeling about school? You can meet some new friends. I know why the cage bird sings. Um, wow, that is super nasty. Oh. <laughs> All right, enough. Settle down. We're all gonna laugh at you. Carrie White. Hey, it happens to everyone. He's made us all cry at one point or another. You should come over after school. Come over, you know. Work. What is all this? This is a ceremony to celebrate you. Why would you celebrate me? Because you're out fourth. Just in time for first period. Carrie White. This is all just a little crazy. Half the battle of having powers is believing you do. That's why covens have always been important. If we can do that, what else can we do? We need to put a spell on Timmy. We don't want to hurt him though, right? She's right. Mono. The number one rule of the craft. If a person I'm is a danger to herself or others, they will be bound. Nancy! No lie, is pretty dope. I'm starting to get a little worried. Sorry, Bumped I was just hanging Nancy. out with my friends. Oh, we've gone too far. Was this just like some game to you? Oh, no. I feel different. Careful, a lot of weirdos out here. We are the weirdos, mister. Get the fuck out of here. Can't use that line. All right, anyway. All right, so initial thoughts. One, that little Snapchat, Instagram filter thing with the whole little glitter and shit. I don't like that. The glitter. Man, cars be driving all day. Anyway, the little Instagram filter for the face, I didn't like that. I'm not really a fan of the glittery ass Tinkerbell tub. That wasn't all that. Um, I thought it was dope that they had Nancy, the picture of Nancy as like kind of like a cameo in this movie. I really hope that the original cast actually makes an appearance in this movie, though. Uh, 
another thing that trips me out that's kind of weird that if this is a sequel it seems way too much like the original you have them moving to a new neighborhood then you have old girl trying to put a spell on the dude i guess that's picking on her uh but i think in a weird way that they're gonna flip it and instead of one girl against the group it's gonna be the group against that one girl so that's why you see the three girls sitting there trying to bind the other girl uh bind the other girl like they did nancy in the first film um i'm not really a fan of the whole carrie white ish act like you know the whole <clears throat> and then <clears throat> people getting pushed against walls and things that seems very uh carrie ish uh a lot of been there done that um what else <sighs> this cast to me looks kind of eh. like let me see if i can find out who he, who exactly i'm talking about uh let's find that weirdo mr pose hold up All right, hold up. I got it right here for you. Hold up. Let me see. Blow that up for you. Old girl right here to the right, the one in these little plaid pants, looks stupid as fuck. Like, she looks dumb as shit. Like, I don't know if that's a wig on her head, but yeah, dude, she. this looks like something out of those fucking brat dolls that you used to see, like, back in the day. Like, this is like some like high school musical shit. Like that right there. I don't know, man. I'm not feeling that. Uh, old ball headed girl in the middle looking like girl from Hard Candy. Eh. I don't really feel her as number as a number one. I'm assuming old girl right here is supposed to be like Bonnie, like all like low self esteem and shit. And then you as you have a um, Rochelle, Rochelle, black girl, you know, things like that. But this girl right here to the right. This one that looks like a fucking chore line shit that went to like school in Palos Verdes. I ain't feeling that. Like she kind of like irritated me with her whole demeanor. Um, <laughs> dude, like uh, I'm not really, I mean, like, look, man, I'm gonna watch it because I love the craft. The craft was a dope movie. Like I love the craft. I remember watching the craft with my sister uh, back in the nineties. It was a dope movie. And the fact that they came out with a sequel, I hope that they do justice to the franchise but I won't hold my breath. Uh, I know that there's a very high possibility that this movie might suck, but I want to watch it because I'm just going to watch it because it's the craft and I want to see what the hell they're going to do with it. Um, I hope either the, the witch that sold them the book from the original movie makes kind of like a cameo or somebody from the original cast makes a cameo and gives them the craft book. That'll be dope. Uh, but I don't, you know, the fact that they already know what's up, like, I don't know, they have to have some sort of tie, hopefully, to the original cast. And the fact that they showed uh, Nancy's face in the trailer makes me feel like there's much more to it than meets the eye. So that's my thoughts on the trailer. What are your thoughts? Tell me if you feel the same way I feel. Maybe you feel worse. Maybe you feel something completely different. I hope that you guys are having a great day. And until next time, adios. You are now exiting the Cinema Chop Shop, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button on the way.